Hello everyone and welcome back. We're going to continue our study of arrays and array methods, this time with accessors. Remember last time we did mutators, which would change the array. This time we're going to do accessors, which do not modify the original array, which is really nice if you need to preserve that array. Um, this is useful whenever you're using some, some libraries, like React for example. If you, you don't want to change the state in React, you want to use a method to do it. So a lot of times it's very useful to not be not modify the original array. So instead of doing dogs, I always do dogs, I'm sure you're sick of it, let's do friends. Let friends equal Chris, Jenna, Miguel. Those are three of my friends. And the first method we're going to talk about is the concat method. It's short for concatenate, which we've already talked about. So we can do friends.concat, and then you simply add on the values. So if I wanted to add Jacob to that, You'll notice it returns an array with Jacob concatenated on there. However, friends here is not changed. That's very important to note. If you concat, it adds it on like you would think it would, but it does not change the original array. So if I want to use this, I would have to set a variable equal to it. Let x equal friends.concat Jacob. And now x is that new array while friends is still unchanged. You can also concat a second array, so instead of just a single data point, so friends.concat, I could put an array in here and do Jason and Donna. Uh, let's let y equal that. y is Chris, Jana, Miguel, Jason, and Donna. And notice, friends is still just those first three. It has not been changed by any of this. Another useful array method is index of. So friends, let's just log friends out real quick so we can see it. So friends.index of, and then you put in a value, Jana, and it returns the index of that item. I can do the same thing, Miguel, number two. And if I put in something that doesn't exist, it'll return negative one, letting me know that that is not, does not, is not found, does not exist. This is very useful in if else statements, so you could search through an array to try and find a value if the number is one, is one or more, then you know it exists. However, if the number is negative one, you know that it doesn't exist in that array, things like that. And again, I just want to reiterate, the original friends array has not been changed in any way. Another method that's very closely related to the index of is includes. Friends.includes. Chris. Oops, got to capitalize. Returns true. And if the thing doesn't isn't in there, it just returns false. Very easy. That way it's just a, a true false boolean check. You could do that same logic with up here. The next method we're going to talk about is the join method. Is the array.join. So we can do friends.join. And what this does is this joins all of the elements of that array together into a single string and returns it. So x equals friends.join. And now if I print out x, it is Chris, comma, Jana, comma, Miguel. Notice there's no spaces there. You can x equals friends.join add a separator in there. So if, if I just put a comma, that's the default, but I could put a pipe if I wanted to. I could put a comma space if I wanted to. You can play around with this. The most common are just commas, comma space, and pipe, because those are often used as delimitators for different programs, but you can put anything you want in here. You can put it, space is awesome, and so is Chris is awesome, and so is Jana is awesome, and so is Miguel. You can do whatever you want. And the last method that we're going to talk about for accessing data in this video is array.slice. This is very similar to the array.splice. Notice it's S-L-I-C-E, while the other one is S-P-L-I-C-E. And basically it returns a new array made, of, up, made up of like a subsection of your original array. So friends, let's log that real quick, Christian and Miguel. So I could do friends dot slice, then you tell it what index to start at, one, and then if you don't put anything else, it returns the rest of the array. Or you can give it another index to end at, which is exclusive. So if I put one, two, it'll only return Jana because zero, one, two, it, it's exclusive. The second one is exclusive. Let's add another item to friends so we can have a little bit more to play with. Friends dot push Kim friends.push Jason. So now I have five people in my friends list. 
and I could do an array dot slice. So friends dot slice and start at zero and let's get the first two items. So it'd be zero two. I can't type. So zero one two, but it's exclusive, so it does not include Miguel. It only includes the first two. It'll re it will return Chris and Janet. Now this is different than splice, because remember in splice you were modifying the original array. You were adding things to it or move or removing things. Um, but on this, it will not modify the array. You can see it's still the same from where I set it up here. When I pushed Kim and Jason on there and, and got it to be up to the length of five, I could also do friends.slice starting at number three and going to number four. How many will this return? This will only return one. Kim right here, because zero, one, two, three, and then it will stop at four exclusive, so it will not include four. Kim. And if I do 3, 3, it returns nothing because it excludes this one. So in this video, we talked about several array methods that do not change the original array. We talked about concat, which returns an array with whatever values you add in here added onto the array. We talked about index of, which lets you search for a value inside of an array. And it returns the index of that value, which makes sense based on what it's named. We talked about includes, which returns true or false based on whether the item is in the array or not. It's true because it is, but if I did something else, now it's false. We talked about join, which puts it all together into a single string. By default, it's separated by a comma, but you can put in here whatever you want your delimiter to be. And then we talked about array.slice, which gives you kind of a subset of that array based on the indexes that you provide. Friends.slice, zero, two. And if I just did zero or just did two or whatever, it would give me the rest of the array. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.